Hi, my name is Norm Peters. I've been a grape grower and winemaker for eight years now, and I thought I'd share um, the whole process with you here today and the next uh, upcoming weeks. These are the, this is the equipment needed for measuring sugar and grapes. Um, this is the first step before you would pick them. Um, what we have here is a cup, a strainer, and then a, a pitcher. And then we have a hand refractometer which measures the sugar um, percentage in grapes, which is called bricks, or in the old days, balling. So then we got to come over here to the vineyard, and we're going to test Chardonnay today, see when it's ready to pick. So here's some Chardonnay clusters of uh, Clone 4. Look, it just miraculously came off. I didn't cut it before we walked up or anything. So now I got the cluster, and I'm going to put it right into a container. And then I'm going to squish it up with my hand till it is pulp. You normally when you do this you don't need to have the cane there, but I like to get my hands in there, get it real squishy. Take that out and squish it up real good. Then we're going to filter a little bit with our strainer and pour the grapes right in there. Then I like to squish it one more time. Then we have that, there's the grape juice. So first I'll taste it, which you won't see. Oop, now nah, it tastes pretty bitter to me. It should be a while before we need to um, pick her. So this is a hand refractometer. So first, I'll pour the juice right off across the, the lens. Then we'll snap it down like that. And then we stick it right up to their face and I look at it. 17 bricks. So it said it was 17 bricks, which tells me I need about five more weeks because I picked these grapes at 23.5, roughly. Um, there's other ways to check pH to, to correct some things um, to make sure they're exactly right. But that's how you check the sugar level on grapes.